Hello everyone, it's Angela here today. We'll be working through a linguistics Olympiad problem today, but this time incorporating some maths. So what does this question shown here ask us to do? They gave us some numbers from 1 to 9 written out this in this specific language in random orders. And we were asked to write out the given numerals using numbers and to write out the remaining two numerals in this dialect. I will talk through the question and provide the answers here today. However, it is best for you to work through it yourself first and then listen to my explanations. Okay, so how can we really start? And the real trick here is repetition. So what is repetition? In the question, we know that there's A to G and there are seven numbers out of one to nine. However, there are only three different words that shows up to make up numbers up to nine. So basically, it means we only have to figure out three different numbers. And the maths incorporate here. What this means is that this language system is likely to have a base of four, which means out of the nine numbers, they are all made out of one, two, or three. Well, you might ask, what is co in the red box means? Well, co here looks short and appears many times. So thinking numerically, it would either be a plus or times sign. However, to keep all numbers under nine, timing them together will be too big. So co here means plus. How I start is that I know the three words would either mean one, two, or three. So I just have to figure out which word is to which letter. So I begin with G. It is clear that the word in brown cannot be three because three plus three plus three plus three is 12 and exceeds nine. So I'm going to try two for this number and I get G equals to eight and D equals two. It appears to me that the word in green box appears more often than the word in blue box. And we know that they will be either one or three. This is when we can incorporate a little bit of enumeration in computing and math, which is basically trial and error, but logic based. It is unlikely that we would keep adding one to a lot of numbers to make it bigger. So we come to a conclusion that we are going to try three for the word in the green box. Therefore, we get that C equals to one, A equals to three, B equals three plus three, which is six, E equals to two plus three, which is five, F equals to two plus two plus three, which is seven, D, as we said before, equals to 2, and G equals to 8. And none of the numbers repeat themselves, so we know that that is the correct answer for A. Now, moving on to B. The above set of numbers does not have 4 and 9, so the remaining numerals must be 4 and 9. There are a few options to write 4 and 9 but the question asks us to find the most plausible way to write it. And in this case, the most plausible way to write it will just be 2 plus 2 for 4 and 3 plus 3 plus 3 for 9. So the answer we should get is shown here. This is a type of linguistics Olympiad problem that incorporates both a little math and logic when solving. Hope you learnt something new and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.